Welcome back guys to another video. I hope you guys are doing good and in today's video we'll be discussing about the essence vaults. Now essence vaults is basically a, a fragrance I would say house fragrance um company I'll say a company that kind of make dupe or ins well, inspired fragrances basically um of designer fragrances popular fragrances um i've got a few here i've got seven in total here with me today and i've got the samples of them as well i've got a few samples this is just a few of them that i've gotten from fragrance samples uk that's a good place to get uh, samples um but i pay for them and i pay like, i pay for these as well so um there's not a sponsored video at, at all so Yes, I'll be comparing them and seeing if the Essence Vault is actually worth getting a few fragrances from them because I know there's a few um, companies that do make dupes and make their, they make their own fragrances. For example, Alexandria Fragrances, which I do really want to try. Um, there's one fragrance in, uh, in particular, Havers 1982, I believe it's called. I do want to try that. Um, but again, there's many other ones and if you want me to, and you like this video leave, let me know in down the comment below and i'll do other companies for example like copycat um not to the romas but before we start let's hit the intro <laughs> so as we have here i've got all my test strips labeled with um, one and two, so I know which is which. Um, so uh, I've got a list as well with um, the letters and numbers as well on there. Um, yeah, so I think we're gonna, we're gonna go for first fragrance. We're gonna go for is three four one, which is this one, and it has the numbers on the box. So that's the box here. That's the this is the intense parfum. So this is a more intense version. So the intense version, not all of them, all fragrances that have for the intense version, but um, a few of them they, they made the intense version for. So I was just like, um, let me see what's so good about the intense versions. So that's oh, see, focusing. That's three for one in the bottle. There's the metal cap. So, 341 is Oudwood. I'm sure I mentioned that. Um, let's spray it. Atomize is quite decent on this, actually. It's actually quite decent. Mm. Okay, it's not bad. Really, quite really sweet. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually not too too bad. I do like I do like the smell of it. I do like the smell of it. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, it's quite nice. Now uh, let's get the original Tom Ford Edwards and let's give it a go. Okay, let's try it. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, it's a bit similar, but this one's just more the nicer fragrance. And just, yeah, this Edward, the original, is really, it's nicer. Way, way nicer. Oh. I'll definitely be having to get this fragrance. Yeah. This one is quite similar, but this one just smells so like toned down and this one is, is like just it's much louder. And it's a bit sweeter on this one than this one. This one's a bit kind of a 
not as airy. Yeah, I'd say the original is way better. The original is way better. Um, next one, let's go for Tobacco Vanilla again from Tom Ford. Uh, so that is two ninety. Again, two ninety. You see that? If you can, no matter. But yes, that's another intense. Show it out to myself. Not bad. Oh, it's quite nice. Getting the whiff of it is quite nice. Okay, yeah, this is quite nice. Tobacco with nose. But tobacco over knee is quite nice. Tobacco over knee is quite nice. This one, or well, this version of it is quite nice. It's 290. That is quite nice. Now let's go for the original. You can smell the difference. This is quite close. This is the dupe. It's quite close. This is the original. Yeah. You wouldn't really be able to tell. You can tell a slight difference. There is a slight difference to it. But not too much, but there is a really slight difference to it. Again. The original is you can smell the vanilla in this this one you can't really smell the sweetness of the vanilla this one you can really smell the vanilla in this and the kind of the hint the tobacco uh, in it as well yeah this one goodness a weird thing a weird smell that i'm not sure should be there as in like if you're talking about tobacco vanilla tobacco vanilla sorry do you know what this kind of has like a a bit of a soapy effect that it reminds me of a sh um yeah what a, 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 um, a soap a shower soap that i've had before yeah yeah so that, and, and that was the the dupe. Hmm, interesting. Quite interesting. Don't know why I got that, but it's quite interesting. Now this one is four six one, which is Baccarat Rouge by forty. And with this fragrance, there's just so many different um dupes and inspired fragrances for Baccarat Rouge that yeah. There's so many out there. I've even got one from Fragrance World myself. Um, I will get a bottle, but honestly, I am broke, so um, and they're not cheap. Three hundred and forty pounds, I think. Yeah. So again, great atomizers. They do spray really, really well. All right, yeah. Is back I reach high forty. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing much I can say to it. It's Black Rose 540, really nice. Now let's try the original. Let's try the original. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what? There is a difference. This is just more high quality. It's not like a chlorine sweetness. Like some dupes, the sweetness is really, really chlorine and it's just overdone. But it, yeah, this one, the original, yeah, it's really nice. I really like it. The EDP, this is the EDP. 
yeah that's really nice that is really nice i really do like it um i prefer the original it's just a just a nicer 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 fragrance um next one is 411 411 which is a a green irish tweed and now we're into the white boxes which is the, the normal fragrances the normal normal concentrations basically not the intense parfum but the parfum but it says parf the, what was it say parfum by the edp concentrations so this one's green irish tweed again I spray it completely missed the first one completely missed the first one wow Okay, yeah, I'm getting green earth tweed, freshness, green. Um, yeah, really nice. I do like green earth tweed anyway, and I will definitely get a bottle of green earth tweed. I just got the sample here. You can see I've used quite a bit. I had a two mil in this, and it's already down to really small. I really like, I really do like this fragrance. I will definitely get probably another decant, and then a full bottle if it, when, it, when, it, when I find it on sale somewhere. Oh, you see? Again, the originals, that's, that's, the, that's the difference. The original is so much higher quality than these ones, but it, it, it's expected. And it's just like, these ones, these dupes are very subtle. They're not coming off the paper. Like this, for example, this one, you can really smell the original you can really smell the greenness of, of it that it's like a fresh outdoorsy green fragrance but well, this one's more of a subtle rainy kind of outdoors fern smelling where it's like it's so subtle but it's like it's rainy it's not as fresher as you'd think with this one it was original yeah Again, the originals are just way better. And I don't know what, what, why I'm saying that it should be expected. It should be expected anyway. Um, next fragrance is 470, which is, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, ombre level. In the air, it smells really nice. So I might have to basically put this in on my skin because I'm not really, I don't know if I'm getting the, how it's meant to intend to smell. But this, again, smell the leather in this. Not bad, not bad. Let's try the original. Then I'm only leaving another fragrance I, I do wanna acquire myself either the edp or the parfum i think this one this one itself is the edp so probably will get the edp or the parfum we'll see probably get both we'll see oh okay do you know what yeah uh i'll definitely go for the ombre level um, EDP because this smells like literally more like a brand new leather couch. The leather in this is so sexy. Oh my gosh, it's so nice, so so nice. Yeah, compared to this, it's so nice. I don't know if I have to wait for the dry down to come for most of, most of, most of the dupes, but. With the originals, I don't really, the dry down, I don't think I need to wait for the dry because just the top notes on this, it's beautiful. 
I, yeah, yeah, no doubt. That was really nice. That is really nice. And then we got one. We got one more, which is half fatty. And that's one eight six. I missed again. How do I miss? How do I miss? Again, in the air, it smells so much better in the air. So much better in the air. This one, yeah. I, never, I haven't really smelled um, Hafetti before like that. I really ha had much experience with it, so this this fragrance, it's not bad. It's not bad. And let's try it again. I got two more bottle of the fragrance. Let's give it a go. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can tell the difference. This is the original, this is the dupe. Yeah, the original is so much better. It's so much sexier. Oh my gosh! Wow. Oh, it has this kind of a, it, it has this citrus, kind of a mandarin citrus. Oh, I don't know. I'm getting hints on mint in this as well. Yeah. I mean, I haven't looked at the bread on the notes, but I'm getting a kind of a spiciness with a you know, mint, mandarin, or citrus accords. Yeah, really nice. I really, I really like how fatty. I probably will try and get, no, I'll try and get myself a bottle or try and smell it even more. But yeah, I'm happy I got a bigger sample of it, a bigger decant of it. But yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed it. Um, if you want me to do more videos of um, testing out um, other um, inspired or dupe fragrance companies, for example, Copycat, um, Unnoted Aromas, I know there's a few more out there. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm down to do it. Um, yeah, let me know, guys know in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my other videos. Um, I've got a few more fragrance um, reviews out there, and yeah, give them a go and, and let me know what you think about it. So I hope you guys are doing good, and I'll see you guys in the next video.